The FCC wants to put researchers in newsrooms across the country to, quote, identify and understand the critical information needs of the American public. Mm. Sounds like Big Brother to me. Newsrooms across the country should be mad as hell. And I think the judge is. This is incredible. I, I take issue with one word choice in your intro. They are not researchers. They are federal agents. They, they may not be carrying sidearms, but they are agents of the federal government to monitor our behavior and to report back to their bosses about what they see. So could you imagine your very, very astute production team when they start their work at some ungodly hour, 4.30 or 5 in the morning, <laughs> when you drag them in here, <laughs> having federal agents over their shoulders? Oh, Mr. Minato, the wonderful Justin Minato who produces no. this show. Oh, Mr. Minato, why did you choose that story? Why do you have the judge going crazy no, on the First I, Amendment two or three days? In that's a row? your interpretation of what they would do. Well, that's my interpretation because we are so utterly unfamiliar with having the government in a newsroom, we don't know where it will go. Okay, well, Look, why do you think they're doing this? Why? They've got, they've, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell you the why. I think they want to bring back the Fairness Doctrine. Which basically says, for every Heraldo, for every O'Reilly, you have to have an Heraldo. I'm not picking on them. They're our friends and sure. colleagues, and we know them both, but they don't agree on, on very much. And guess what? That will mean no O'Reilly and no Heraldo, rather than one to counterpoint the other. And, and they won't have talk radio anymore. You'll have it very, very bland and just music like it used to be. But who decides who's a Geraldo and who's a Bill O'Reilly? They well, will want to decide that. They will decide who's they? whether things are fair. The, the, the but, FCC. Uh, this Look, was there's the a doctrine called chilling. Chilling means you, you are afraid to exercise your First Amendment liberties because it might displease the government. There is not a single case in American history that supports chilling, and every judge that has looked at it has condemned it. The First Amendment condemns monitoring for compliance. The First Amendment permits absolute freedom when it's choice of stories and choice of words on it. So, but maybe they will get away with this because there's no legislation required to put these monitors into our newsrooms. It's not. It's just. This is a decree. It is, is it a not? decree. What I, what I would say to our legal department here and to our boss, Mr. Ailes, if they care to hear me, is, if the FCC shows up, kick them out, unless they have a search warrant with them signed by a federal judge, which they will never get. Oh, that's good. Now you have a. <laughs> You can turn on a dime no matter what we're doing. You can no. turn the Queen Mary on a dime. No, I'm not, I'm not turning on a dime. Uh, actually, he was good. Uh, you, you won a victory, you know. Just I the can't other day. credit for it, but, but I was a small voice with a loud chorus. Yesterday, we brought the story of the, the uh, immigration, the Homeland Security, wanted to take pictures of license plates, beam them up to a database, and figure out who's driving the car and why. It. Uh, only momentarily. Oh, right. Well, apparently they've withdrawn that yes. right, uh, after your explosion on the show. The, the, the explosion uh, was unanimous and it was from all across the board. One of those who exploded is a Democratic congressman from Mississippi whose name is escaping me, who's the ranking Democrat on the House uh, Civil Liberties yep. uh, Subcommittee yep. of the Justice uh, of the uh, Judiciary Committee. And he exploded not because it violates freedom or privacy, but because they didn't bring it past the Congress first. Oh. He was more interested in who has the power to do this, not what liberty is being interfered with by government in an impermissible way. Uh, that's interesting. That's another, another gloss here. But the net effect was the administration pulled the plans by the end of the day. Nine o'clock last night, they pulled the plans. Oh, net effect was. I almost called you on the phone, but you were asleep. N Napolitano <laughs> won, invasion of privacy zero. I mean, it was go. pretty good. Thanks, Judge. Great stuff. Pleasure. Pleasure, guys.